What's up Illumineers, welcome back to another Lorcana gameplay video and today we're going to be trying out some more new cards and we're actually going to be doing it in one of my favorite decks right now which is Emerald Steel and if you saw my last video we saw how well that went. I want to see how it goes with some of these new cards. The build looks a little different. I'm not 100% like fully satisfied with it yet. Those, there's still more cards to be revealed that could potentially make it even better. So we're still kind of play testing it, but I wanted to show you guys uh, some of the gameplay for it just to see um, how it goes. So yeah, before we get into it, please, if you like the video, please be sure to like, subscribe to the channel. We're nearing 300 subscribers, which is really exciting. And I just want to keep seeing that number grow. So if you like this content, be sure to like, share and subscribe. So without further ado, let's get into the deck profile. All right, so right off the bat, we have the new Flynn Rider, which is a one drop. And I do kind of like the three blocking on him. Uh, I can make him a little more difficult to get off the board. I know the one attack isn't that great, but I figured I'd try him out just to see how he goes with the deck. Um, we have the regular two drop Flynn Rider, three Cheshire Cat, uh, four Mother Knows Best, four Hans, and then we have the new Bell. Now, one thing I'm kind of discovering here is that it might be difficult to run both Bell and uh, Cusco because they're both non-inkable five drops and they're both like very good in their own respects. But I think at this point it's going to come down to just which one you prefer to play. I just don't know if you can play both. Maybe you can, but obviously this spell has a really, really good um, effect which is you make your opponent discard all their cards if you want a challenger um she is a shift three so i'm going to assume that we're going to have a pretty cheap um bell <clears throat> for her to shift over um down the line in the next set but i just want to try her out to see if the hype is really worth it again i just couldn't really warrant running both her and Cusco, so we'll see how it goes and to round out the emerald we have four mad hatter for our steel, we have four Captain Hook, four Prince Eric, four Smash, and one of my favorite new cards, which is the Prince, who, in my opinion, is the best bodyguard in the game right now, um, besides the two drop uh, Simba for Amber. But this guy is really, really good. He quests for two, he only costs three, he's inkable, he has resist plus one. Resist is going to be really good in this game, I feel like, so I'm excited about him. Another card I'm actually really high on is Sienna, who has resist plus two, not inkable, only costs four, and that resist plus two will go really good with that four blocking. Quest for two lore, and this card I feel like is individually good, <clears throat> even like without the effect. Like obviously the effect is really good because steel tends to empty out its hand. So stopping your opponent from playing actions is really good, but even besides that, I just feel like this is a good, solid card anyway. We have four Whole New World, two Beast, four Grab Your Sword, and two Cinderella. We've seen Cinderella before. I'm pretty sure there was a two-drop Cinderella that was spoiled. Um, it's just not in this game yet, so we can play around with that when we get it. Um, yeah, so there are a decent amount of non-inkables in this deck. And the thing about Emerald steel in general is you kind of have to play on the ink curve so we'll just see how it goes let's try this deck out and you know maybe we'll grab some wins along the way all right here we go our first game so we got the prince hatter we got our one drop we got our two drop um i'm just gonna get rid of the non-inkables and we got two non-inkables back all right So we're going first. We're gonna ink the Hatter and play Flynn Rider and pass. Yeah, like again, we'll see how good this is. Um, <clears throat> we're going up against Sapphire, Flounder. So, like for example, this Flounder can't trade with this Flynn Rider. Like he won't die from this Flounder, which is nice we got another non-inkable which isn't the best so i think i'm gonna ink the smash we're gonna stay on the curve here we'll play prince eric a card that i'm actually i've actually become pretty high on 
It's plus two challenger with the three blocking. It's pretty good. Let's quest. It just makes the board hard to deal with with challenging. And if you're able to get that Tiana effect off, then like it can make it can make your board even more difficult. But we'll see. And this is kind of you have to be careful with like these hands. Sometimes you just draw non inkables and this deck does run a good amount of them. Like, I feel like mother, <clears throat> I feel like mother knows best is like a card that could potentially be cut. Maybe like I don't have Jasper in here right now. Obviously don't have Cusco because I don't want to run. Cus so again, another non inkable, which isn't great. I don't want to ink the prince. So we're just going to quest for two and pass kind of messes up the curve here a little bit. But sometimes you can get these hands. Sometimes you just get unlucky. Again, you can play with these cards right now in the lab mode and Pixelborn. You just have to make sure you download the card images. All right, Mickey. So they're already pretty far ahead on ink, which isn't great. I wonder if they're actually going to quest with Flounder here. If they do, I can just take him out with Prince Eric. I need something inkable. That is not inkable. Oh man, this is... This hand is rough. We're just going to quest again. So far, not much happening. I'm seeing all of my non-inkables. Like, I know this deck runs a decent amount of them, but geez. I just don't want to ink. It's not like I'd be above three ink anyway. Like what? Am I going to mother knows best the flounder? I am going to have to start thinking about it now that they're at five ink. Like they can play a Maleficent. A Hatter. All right. We have something inkable. I'm just going, to, I'm actually not going to play the Prince Eric yet. I'm just going to play Mother Knows Best to bounce back the Hatter and quest for two. We might drop Prince Eric next turn unless we draw a really good four drop. I just, I love this card so much. I think it's really good. Like a resist on a bodyguard. Especially like in the early game. All right, they have Cusco. Grab your sword. We are gonna have to start thinking about this soon. Thankfully, we do have a way to deal with the Cusco. I'm just not seeing enough ink. Oh, their own mother knows best to bounce back the Eric. Interesting. I'm actually not mad about that. They'll finally quest. All right. We will ink Flynn Rider. I'll go ahead and play the print. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? We saw that, right? It didn't let me bring them in exerted. Oh man, that's a pixel born glitch. Um, that's, yeah, that's fine. Part six. Oof. That's rough. So we need to get a grab your sword off here. Because right now they're pretty, pretty set up. Part of me thinks I should have played the Prince Eric. I could have just Prince Eric into the Cusco and then Flynn Rider into the Cusco. Uh, 
Okay. Um. Let's grab our sword. Let's... Prince for one. So he only takes one damage because of the resist. And let's just get rid of the Cusco. So Flynn will be gone. Okay. So like Mickey can't do any damage to him. Aurora can kill him. Do to start thinking about these bells soon. They'll just quest. Um. Let's play the bell. Let's quest for two. And let's pass. Jasper. Yeesh. Yeah, we just... Our, our hand just wasn't... Oh man, they just had every answer. And my hands have been terrible. There's really not much I can do. Yeah, they got this one. Oh, there you guys are. Yeah, all right, well, just an unfortunate hand that time. That's okay. Let's just hop into our next game. All right, let's hop into our next game. We're going first again, and oh my gosh. Um, that, 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 that. We're kind of doing a hard mulligan here. Wow, wow, Law Prince Eric's. Okay, um, hmm. Point still choosing. Okay. Let's actually ink the Flynn. Let's play Hook. Let's pass. Three Prince Eric's, huh? Okay, Sapphire. Play the Simba. Look at the draw on the discard. Right, let's ink one of these Eric's. Let's play one of the Eric's. And quest. So we have two pretty good attackers on the board. So it goes after the hook. Ink let it go. They're at two. Do one jump here. No? Okay. Um let's ink the other Eric. Let's play cat. Let's go ahead and take out the Simba. Let's quest for one and let's pass.
All right, establishing a pretty decent board early. We were still able to do a curve. Kind of wish we had a four drop like our Hans, but. Ink, all right, Sapphire Steel. Ink Tinkerbell. Puts my three smash. Oh, well, all right. Well, they had to spend all three ink to do it. Let's just ink this smash. And let's quest for two. Alright, they got the quill. So they can get two more inks in here. Alright, they don't do anything. Um, let's ink the Flynn Rider. Play Mad Hatter. Quest for two. And pass, we're just kind of chugging along here. I'm surprised we're up on ink against the Bell Sapphire deck, Sapphire Steel deck. Alright, they'll ink one with Fishbone. So that four. And they'll just quit. I guess they had nothing there. Well, couldn't really show what the deck did there, so let's just hop into another one. Alright, here we go. Um, okay. Alright, I don't want the same thing to happen that happened game one, so... We'll just get rid of these. Another Hans, another Flynn. Okay. Not the worst. Oh, is this the same person? Let's ink this Hans. Flynn Rider. Do I play the Flynn next turn or do I play the Eric? Okay. All right, maybe we'll play a game our opponent doesn't quit this time. And wow, this hand. I guess we can keep the Hans. Ooh. All right, so if this is the same person, this is how you're gonna beat me with a hand like this. It's a different deck this time. But it's uh, something Amethyst. If it's Ruby Amethyst, ugh. All right, let's pass. Didn't get the one drop this time. We'll be interesting to see if we get Tiana out. Okay, um, Amethyst Steel, Yzma, um, let's ink one of the cats, and let's pass. See, now my concern is I drew two non-inkables in a row. That's what happened the first game.
Inking friends on the other side. Hmm. Elsa. The quest. Okay. I'm gonna do the Yzma effect. Perfect. We can ink this Hans. We can play Cat. And we can pass. Now we can start getting things done. Ooh, interesting. Mickey Mouse. I don't like this board they're building up. A Jetsam. Take like the quest for two. Jetsam has evasive. Third non inkable. Well, not third. Three out of four are non inkable. Um, I mean, we'll just ink the Hatter. We'll play Hans. Quest for two. Freeze the Hans. I guess they're gonna go after him. Yeah. Alright, so we'll trade the Jetsum or Flotsam, whatever that was, for the Hans. They'll quest for two to kind of stay ahead in the race here. Okay, so we're going to ink the prince. We're going to go ahead and grab your sword. Quest for two. And pass. Well... Now that we know we can't bring in the Prince Exerted because of the Pixel Pixelborn glitch, that complicates things, but we also have Tiana. Two whole new worlds. Oh, Smash. Oh my gosh. Oh man. We can be patient on the whole new world. Let's ink Captain Hook. Let's play Tiana. And let's pass. The plus two resist is going to come in clutch. All right, Ursula's Cauldron. Do they have a magic mirror? The quest with Elsa and pass. There's another Hans. Um. Let's ink the prince. Let's play Hans. Let's go ahead and get rid of the Elsa. I take no damage from that, which is awesome. And pass. Man, that's Tiana is so good. Pocket watch. All right, they're at five. I think we got a whole new world this turn. Flotsam. So, 
because of the resist plus two that only does one damage to Tiana. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, I love it so much. I think Tiana's so good. Mother knows best. Um. Let's just go ahead and quest with them. And let's whole new world. Alright, let's ink Prince Eric. Let's smash the flotsam to get rid of him. And let's pass. We do have a Mother Knows Best and Smash for next turn, too, if need be. Another Tiana. That's nice. Alright, the ink. Hatter is pretty nice. Flynn Riders, so I can play both of them next turn if I wanted to. Fire the Cannons does zero because of the resist plus two. Oh my god. Read the card. Unless that was a misclick and they meant to go after the Hans. No, don't give up. Oh my gosh, everyone's quitting. This is what happens when you play in lab. The first sign of trouble, everyone quits. Well, we saw how good Tiana can be, but let's do one more game. Hopefully we can play it out and let's just see how it goes. Oh, that's the third time in a row someone quit on me. Come on. Well, if you want to play in lab, this is the kind of thing you're going to have to deal with. And this hand is <clears throat> actually... You know what? I kind of like it. We're going first. Oh, maybe I just like Tiana too much. But man, the resist resist is so good. Resist plus two on a character with four defense, like can quest for two, only costs four to play. She's not even that expensive. Not inkable, but oh well. Alright, let's just ink the Flynn to play the Flynn and pass. Let's see what our opponent has for us. Alright, they have steel. Okay. So this is where Flynn isn't that good, because he can die from a Captain Hook, but can't trade with the Hook. Alright, Bell. Um, let's ink Hatter. Let's play Eric, and let's just pass. Because if they quest with the hook, we can just take the hook out with Eric. So Eric is a good counter to the hook. Hopefully we get something else that's inkable next draw. I really don't want to have to ink the Hans to play the Prince. Especially because I can't actually buy Garb with the Prince because of the glitch. But if we get consistent ink, we can get Tiana and Belle out. Oh, it's taking their sweet old time. Four, three, come on, I gotta play something. All right, well, they went AFK, so we're just gonna keep chugging along here. Play prep. Okay. 
listen, like I said, this is what happens when you play in lab. I need someone to finish a game with me, please. And oh boy. Um, okay. All right, we have someone playing. Cool. Here we go. Play hook. Ink another LeFou. Play a Simba? Okay. Let's ink this beast. Let's play a Flynn Rider. Let's pass. Well, Ink Maleficent. All right, this person means business. Another Simba. Okay. Let's ink the cat. For cat. And let's pass. No point in rushing anything right now. Um... We'll just get rid of... Whole New World... And... Hatter. And they'll go ahead and quest. They'll sing be our guest. We'll ink Cinderella. We'll play Hans. And... We'll get rid of one of the Simbas. And we'll quest for four. And pass. So, they'll be in Dragonfire range soon. Which, they most likely take out the Hans, right? Uh, no, they're taking out the Flynn Rider. Okay. Punzel. Alright. Draw. Ink. Sure. Let's ink the Prince. Let's play Hatter. And let's just go ahead and quest for five. Oh, a Tiana would be so clutch right now. Because this is what this deck wants to do. Have, like, Tiana out there so they can't... Especially a deck like this where it looks like they're playing a good amount of songs. So I know they have the Ariel in hand. They go after the Hans. They have another Rapunzel? Yeah. Really good value there. Wow. Insane value. Oh! Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Holy crap. I can't believe I drew it. Now I just have to quest their next turn and they can't play an action. Come on. Oh, don't have be prepared. Don't have be prepared. Oh, thank God. So we'll get the draw off of Hatter. We draw another Hatter, which is good.
Okay. Let's ink hook. Let's play Hatter. And let's quest Yana. Have fun playing actions, even though they'll just... Uh, yeah, they'll kill her with Maui. Maui was the one card I could deal with it, but hey. We, 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 we got it off. And that's it. All right. <laughs> we, uh, we play the full game there. Tiana's crazy. One of my favorite cards from the new set. I can't wait um, to try this some more. I had a lot of fun, even though like a million people quit early. But that's uh, what happens when you play on lab, which is unranked. So, yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this. I did. I had a lot of fun with it. Again, I'm going I'm to keep tinkering with this deck. Um, it's not like perfect yet by any means, but um, I'm excited to see like what this turns into and how powerful it can be. So um, yeah, make sure you like the video, subscribe, all that good stuff. Illumineers, I'll see you on the next one. Later.